और अगर आप इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहते हैं हमारे वेलनेस सेंटर के बारे में और इफ यू डेफिनेटर इन यू नो गेटिंग इन टच विद अस आप हमारी वेबसाइट विजिट करके यू कैन ऑलवेज गेट ऑल द कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन हमारी वेबसाइट है रचना रेडियो डॉट कॉम आर ए सी एच एन ए रचना रेडियो डॉट कॉम और यू कैन ऑलवेज गूगल एंड फाइंड रचना इज वेलनेस सेंटर अगेन इन्फॉर्मेशन हमारे सेंटर वी आर अ वेलनेस सेंटर अ फिटनेस सेंटर दैट हैज ऑफ कोर्स वी स्टार्ट बैक इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव इट्स बीन अबाउट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स वी बीन डूइंग दिस एंड ऑफ कोर्स हमारे जो वेट लॉस प्रोग्राम होते हैं देर ऑल डिफरेंट कैन ऑफ प्रोग्राम यू नो जस्ट नेम अ फ्यू प्रोग्राम्स वी हैव प्रोग्राम लाइक जस्ट एब्स जस्ट एब्स लेवल वन लेवल टू दैन वी ऑल्सो अ स्पेशल प्रोग्राम फॉर वुमेन हुव हैड किड एंड देन विच इज कॉल्ड अ पोस्ट प्रेगनेंसी वेट लॉस प्रोग्राम एंड देन वी ऑल्सो हैव अ प्री नेटल प्रोग्राम to keep your you know pregnancy while you're pregnant to so keep yourself you know nice and fit and then we also have a program called ultra fat burner then we also have um challenges like a desi fitness challenge so there are all different kind of programs the basic of all the programs is to make you fit of course there are different programs based on the areas of the body you wanted to focus on and um so what i do is you know in all the programs of course the starting point is to understand you understand your goals you know start with your weight take bunch of measurements and then i kind of like to keep a track of all of these numbers every single week कि आपके हर वीक कितना वेट कम हो रहा है कितने इंचेस कम हो रहे हैं हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग यूर गेटिंग एंड एंड दैट्स हाउ इट गोज सो गेट बेस्ड ऑन विच प्रोग्राम इट कुड बी दैट ऑफन नाउ वन टू मैंशन हमारे सारे प्रोग्राम्स कैन ऑल्सो बी डन रिमोटली आई डू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स ऑफ कोर्स आई नेवर सीन दैम बट आई कोर्स बीन टच विद दैम you know however often that it requires every couple of days every day every week so hamare jitne bhi programs hain can always be followed remotely of course you're going to be given complete desi meal plans to follow those keep changing all throughout the program um and then we also follow complete exercise programs up exercise ke liye up like i said you can always do it remotely all the programs you can work it it's going to work from a phone computer ipad or uh, any kind of tablet you can always put it on a big screen um so we have many different programs available that purpose too um again the first info you know i guess the basic point to get started would be give me a call we can always sit down you know or of course talk over the phone and see take it from there to see what your goals are and you know get you stronger and a fitter person from there on um the phone number to get in touch with me to set up an appointment or to come and talk to me or over the phone is 4083208111 again 4083208111 um or like you said you can always contact us through our website rachnaradio.com and then you also have a special website designed for this year which is called fitin2017.com uh fitin2017.com so if you want to remember yourself that there's something that you did and then you lost a lot of weight um and you got healthier or you got off a medication um you can remember this by the year uh 2017 so of course visit my website called fitin2017.com and of course you'll find a lot of different programs and options um get ready just to get started and of course be healthy from there on okay story number again 4089125565 um couple of things of course i was talking about uh, we talked about some different oils last time and then we also some of course cooking oils i kind of talked about trans fats we talked about uh, you know different option then we also talked about some gmo 
Um, so what I was doing last time is, in fact, giving you about three or four options that I would possibly make you make you some do some changes this year. So one was, of course, avoiding as many vegetables oils as possible. And then, of course, the second was avoiding as much um, GMO corn as possible, because most of the corn, uh, most of it, um, if it specifically doesn't so, show um, on, you know, on the top of the packet that whatever the corn that you're buying, that it says regular corn, that it is genetically modified and that has a lot of side effects. So that's something that definitely was suggesting you to do. Um, and I'm probably going to give you more ideas uh, later today as time permits. Um, but there's something I also wanted to talk about is um, our ghee, you know, and there's a lot of benefits about ghee, uh, you know, hamara jo desi ghee hota hai, and I just wanted to kind of touch base a little bit about it and then kind of explain you what is the difference between ghee and butter. Um, you know, and you might have seen this word, you know, hum ghee kehte, but a lot of people sometimes, especially in this country, call it clarified butter. Okay. Uh, that means it's been cleared of a lot of solids. Okay. So that is what ghee is. Ghee is clarified butter that's been slowly cooked until all the liquids have dissipated. Jitni bhi uskandar liquids, they were sare sare, uh, they've all, you know, um, uh, dissipated. And the milk solids, which are what make the butter bun, right? Kya butter mein koi high temperature pe cooking karo, you'll also see that the butter kind of starts to turn a little brownish uh, because it's starting to burn. And the reason it's burning because can the milk, uh, butter can the solids hote hain, jisko whey solids kaha jata hai. So what you're doing when you're making ghee, you're actually dissipating all the liquid and all the solid of the milk that burns um, have, kind of settle on the bottom of the pan, right? So when these are removed, it makes a basic difference between ghee and the butter. So that is the difference in ghee and butter. First of all, all the way, everything has been taken off and all the liquids have been taken off. So ghee, of course, originally used in a lot of desi cooking as um, is getting a lot of attention nowadays. A um, couple of benefits of ghee, first of all, uh, I'll give you some benefits. But of course, I'm first of all going to give you some practical, you know, differences why you should be game, you know, uh, using ghee, and then of course there are other uh, other differences too. One is that of course ghee can remain on the counter for months, um, counter, you know, just counter, not even in the fridge, and it's going to be perfectly fine. But you can't do that to butter, okay? And um, so that's one benefit of it. And um, so practical benefits of ghee would be so if I would put it down to practical benefits, uh, like I said, of course, there are nutritional benefits to using ghee rather than butter, which I'll go in just a bit a second. But there are several practical reasons as well. Ghee has a higher smoke point. Um, regular butter begins to brown, smoke and scorch or even at low temperatures. And again, like I mentioned, the reason it does that because butter can there are milk solids that we that will actually start to burn. So ghee has a higher smoke point or a burning point. That means you can actually do high temperature cooking in ghee, which of course you can't do in butter many of the times. Um, but again, to mention, uh, for people who are really into baking, butter is going to be better for baking because it has a sweeter taste. So if you're going to substitute, uh, you know, butter, ki jagah ghee dalenge baking with the sweetness aati hai, wo nahi aagi because butter has a little bit of sweetness because of the way solids in it. So stick to butter for that purpose. Um, ghee, on the other hand, doesn't burn as quickly, like I said, because of the flammable milk solids have been removed. Um, just to let you know, the smoking point of ghee is 385 degrees Fahrenheit, which is quite a bit high from butter. And they can also mention the other uh, practical benefit is the first is, of course, high smoke point. The second is, of course, um, longer shelf life. OK, um, again, just because it's just pure fat, all the milk solids and the water and everything that's going to make it go bad or rancid has been taken out. So, of course, it's going to have a longer shelf life. That means you do not need, um, you know, put, to put in a refrigerator. You know, as long as you're putting an ace dried container, it's, any, you know, free of any moisture, it's going to stay there for a long time. And another practical benefit of ghee is that it's very good for people who could be lactose intolerant. Okay, for the lactose intolerant people or who are lactose even sensitive, not even intolerant, just sensitive, ghee may be an option, a very good option since all the milk solids have been taken out. So people who are lactose intolerant, uh, who can't drink milk and eat butter, they should be perfectly fine eating ghee too. Now, that's having said that. Now, of course, like I said, ghee has to be pure, right? It has to be pure. So it's important to note that the ghee you're making is only as good as the milk that you used to make the original butter, right? So instead of ghee doesn't really make any sense. Ghee bhi utna hi achha hoga. Aapne imagine karo jis, jis tarang ka milk lose kiya tha for the initial butter. Again, to mention how do we do that? And I've already been telling this for a long time. Please make sure, especially when it comes to dairy, any kind of dairy, that it comes to yogurt or milk or uh, butter, please make sure it's as much grass-fed as possible because that's where a lot of the antibiotics have been fed to cattle um, 
So always use grass fed butter, which is made from butter, made from milk from cows that ate grass as opposed to grains um, or even genetically engineered corn. Okay, um, cows, first of all, don't digest grains so well. In fact, Grains alter the gut bacteria. The kafi sari research is made that when cows ko grain diya jata hai as their feed, unka jo bacteria hai gut ka wo change ho jata hai. And if we all know, I, I, the reason you're listening to my show, you've all you know, heard me for a long time and I've been telling, if you eat wrong food, your gut bacteria is wrong. And that's when your immune system gets weak and that's when you're just not a strong person. Um, and that happens to cows too. Uh, so Grains, it alters the gut bacteria in the cows in ways that have detrimental effects on the nutritional composition of the meat, a meat and the milk, of course. Okay, so if their diet is not good, then the milk ki bhi nutritional content hoga, it's not going to be exactly the same as opposed to if they were just uh, fed pure grass. You know, um, and even worse would be uh, corn. You know, so make sure that if you butter le rahe, ghee ghar pe banane, so make sure you're getting grass-fed butter, um, or you can always take your own um, organic um, proper um, milk and usse bana sakte hain, that's fine too. So raw milk from organic grass-fed cows contains better nutrients and poses a lower risk of contamination also. Okay. Um, Another thing also wanted to mention is that, um, and I'll, you know, in fact, I'll probably get to that in just a second. So again, just let, let me give you a number of the studio. If you have a question, uh, this is topics related or in general, hamare, uh, in general about any uh, your weight loss, weight gain, uh, you've been trying to lose weight, um, you, know, koi aapka, you know, or something that uh, kind of a bandwagon you got on and then it just didn't happen. I'll be happy to talk to you. Ki what are you doing? What could be possibly changed? Um, again, I always keep telling people is that your weight loss should be happening if you're doing things right. If you're not doing things right, that means ya to ab cheating karo exercise mein, ya to ab cheating karo khane mein. And again, I have to mention that, you know, when it comes to exercise, it's why would you cheat? Why would you cheat? Just don't exercise. Don't if you don't want to do it. But if you're already doing it, if you're already putting an hour into your exercise and you really want to, the reason you're putting an hour into exercise, yes, of course, it makes you feel good mentally, psychologically, but at the same time, you also want to get the physical benefits of it or the good benefits of it of being healthy. So why not just do it? I don't get it. So if you are exercising, and that could be any kind of exercise, you're on a machine or attending a class or doing whatever that you're doing as terms of exercise, why would you cheat yourself? And just say that I did an hour on exercise, you really did not because you were cheating yourself. You could have done, you know, you could have done more. You know, you could have get gotten, uh, maybe picked up a better weight or, you know, you could have maybe done a better range um, of exercises or something better or focus on your exercise or focus on the muscles. But you did not. Why would you not do it? So kind of got distracted from my topic but again so again if you have a question hai, nutrition related exercise related our topics related apne weight loss related a uh, quick question you can call our studio ka number 408-912-5565 again 408-912-5565 um, you can also visit my website rachnaradio.com r-a-c-h-n-a rachnaradio.com and also uh, contact us through my facebook page facebook.com slash rachnaradio Facebook.com slash Rachna Radio, R-A-C-H-N-A, Rachna Radio. Please go and like our page. That's another way to get in touch with us. Um, okay. So, my Jitimi programs out there complete three month weight loss programs, where, of course, I start with, um, you know, your goals. Um, programs, of course, design out there based upon your goals. And so, Vaha Sam, Apke Pelevet check Oga. Inches measure hongi, aapki measurements hongi, and then I click to keep a track of everything every single week. Aap kitna weight kam ho rahe, kitna inches kam ho rahe, week by week. So I can keep monitoring the program and keep altering the program as you know as the need is required, of course. And um, it's a combination of good, healthy um, nutrition. And it's, of course, it's a combination of good overall workout programs that we follow. A workout you can do at home, you can do it remotely. You can do sessions. Or you can always come down once a week or more often. We do have sen- uh, sessions, of course, every day, mornings, evenings, weekends too. Uh, based upon your goals, your se- uh, everything, you can always attend from home. Um, you can come down to the center or do a mix and match. Let's say you want to come down once a week or twice a week. In the remaining days, you want to do it from home. So it could be any kind of combination set up, you know, based upon your uh, requirements. And, um, okay, so that's how all the programs work. But all I can say is that I've been doing this for more than 12 years. I've never had a person who has not lost weight or gotten healthy at my center. And I'm so proud to say that on air. I'm definitely very proud to say that because I definitely make sure that I find... Um, 
if I'm putting my heart and soul into it, in teaching you in a program, I'm going to make sure that you do it too, because that's whole, you know, it's, it's, it's together. You know, if I coach you, I push you, I lead you, um, you're going to have to do it, which you will, because if you start seeing results, because I think results give you motivation. And, um, okay. So again, going back to the number 408-912-5565 to set up an appointment with me, to come and talk to me, to get registered, to get your weight off and be a fit person. And of course, like I say, fitin2017.com, visit my website. You're going to give me a call. Um, to talk to me, 408-320-8111. Again, 408-320-8111. Okay. Um, so I was talking about ghee. We are talking about ghee. So I explained to you, of course, ghee as good as the butter and the milk that was used to, you know, create the ghee. So not just the ghee. We're talking about ghee. Jo hota, it's made from good organic grass-fed cows. Now, another thing that's kids so have kind of given you benefits or practical benefits of ghee. We have practical benefits of ghee, shelf life zyada hai, smoking points, zyada hai, um, you know, all those kind of practical benefits. But of course, there are other good reasons why ghee is a good option. Why? One of them is that um, MCT. And I've, we've talked about this, you know, MCT, ka na, it's called medium chain triglycerides. Um, MCTs are high in ghee than butter and many other oils. Okay. Um, now, what MCTs do, you know, and if you haven't, you know, if you're not a person really keeping up with, you know, what MCTs are, just MCTs are something a lot of people are now been taking it. Coconut oil ke MCTs hote hai, olive oil ke hote hai. Ghee ke bhi, uh, of course, ghee has high, you know, MCT either way. But typically, MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. And um, before I kind of explain you the ghee and the MCT part, I want to explain it to you ki why. Um, you know, it's, it's a thing that's been going on for years. And I'll get to that again probably in a second more. That um, for many years, of course, people believed ki fat mat khao, saturated fat mat khao, but carbs khalo, grains khalo, healthy grains khalo. That did not do anything except it rampantly increased all the diseases. You know, uh, a lot of people are way more diabetic um, now than what they were 20 years ago. But if you see, a lot of people have had less fat in the last 20 years. So what's going on? So it wasn't the fat that was bad. It was the bad grains that was bad. So jahan jahan hamare grains bar rahe hain, bahut sare carbs bar rahe hain, um, things are actually getting worse. So, um, and I've been, you know, always telling this for a long, long time, of course, is that you have to make sure that you are in limiting your grains, you know, including a lot of fruits and vegetables, limiting your grains, um, make sure that even if they're whole grains, the grains have to be limited. So you can be eating a lot of brown rice you can be eating a lot of this a lot of all grains and they're all grains uh grains of course you know there are a lot of things behind grains but again you want to make sure that your diet does have some good fat in it saturated fat is good for you good as long as it's a good fat we're not talking about vegetable oils we're not talking about um bad kind of fat but we're talking about good good solid saturated fats which perfectly fine coconut oil stands there or desi ghee definitely stands there um, in that option okay so so having no, said that, a lot of people are now going to eat uh, or now reverting to eat something what is called MCT oil. Um, MCT oil is or MCT, just medium stain triglycerides. Now you will get to the bazaar, you capsules in the bazaar. There a lot in the health aisles, but typically it's just an oil, um, you know, that is um, made from coconut oil. But it's kind of a little bit changed, so it's higher in medium chain triglycerides. Now, what that does is that it increases your metabolism. How does it do that? Okay, so eating MCTs, and you've seen that. And if I would go put part in general, if you had a bowl of pasta, um, you will feel full, but you're not going to feel that your metabolism goes up. But if you had some kind of fat, I'm just going to give an example. Let's say you made a couple of eggs in some desi ghee. Uh, you know, you're going to feel that there's some heat that comes around in the body. Your metabolism kicks up as opposed to a bowl of pasta. What was the difference? I'm not even talking about good calories over here. All I'm talking about the difference right after you eat a bowl of pasta or you had something cooked in some kind of good fat. You're going to feel a good heat in the body come up. Your metabolism goes up. And that is what fat does to you. Fat burns fat. Okay. Even better are considered what is called MCT medium chain triglycerides. So now they see, like I said, is high in MCT, which is medium chain triglycerides. So why? What is the difference? Uh, explanation behind this? First of all, MCTs quickly turn into ketones. What are ketones? They're healthy fuel source for your body. Okay. So what happens when you start taking MCTs, some kind of MCT in your body, um, your body switches to burning fat for fuel 
as opposed to burning carbs for fuel, which is what you need. You want to burn your body's fat, right? And your liver begins to convert some of the fat into energy molecules called ketones. In short, if I if you didn't understand that, that's okay. In short, ketones kick off a metabolic process called ketosis, in which you burn fat, not carbs, as your primary fuel. And that's what we need, right? That's what we need. So ketones kick off a metabolic process called ketosis. So jab bhi aap MCT khate ho kisi tarah ka, which is of course, like I said, desi is a good source of, source of MCT, medium chain triglycerides. Your body creates ketones, which happens the uh, process of ketosis, just me aapki body ka metabolism badta, aapki body mein heat create hoti, and then it starts to burn fat. Okay. Um, so, like I said, ketones made by a body, unko kaha ta, kaha jata endogenous. If you supply a body with ketones, like I said, you know, you can get uh, from supplements, they're called exogenous ketogens, um, ketones. So just to kind of give you some difference. Now, that was the diff- one of the uh, benefits that I gave you of desi ki is why it's better than butter and many of the oils. And of course, there are um, many of the health benefits of uh, ghee compared to butter. Okay. And um, now how to make your own ghee? You know, just to kind of keep it simple and wrap up this conversation about ghee is how do how would you make your own ghee? I don't know a lot of Desi people know it, but I'm going to at least give you a quick a couple of different things. If you have a good recipe and you want to share with us, I know there are a couple of different ways people make Desi ghee, but I would love to hear your uh, version of it. Give me a call. Again, Studio Pep call can be 408-912-5565. 408-912-5565. Okay. Would love to hear your version of the recipe or, you know, making process of Desi ghee. Okay, how do you make it? If you buy, first of all, if you buy desi ghee from a store, it's a bonnet to read how it's made. Okay, because if vegetable oil was used rather than dairy, it's called vanaspati ghee. And that's the difference. Or even if you sometimes find something that's called vegetable ghee, you know, that means as opposed to butter or pure butter, unone, they used um, a vegetable oil to make ghee. Okay, and that means it's going to be very high in trans fat. So make sure that bazaar se ghee le rahe ho, so it shouldn't be called vanaspati ghee or vegetable ghee. Okay, because that's going to be very high in um, trans fats. Okay, the ingredients, uh, like I said, what goes in the ghee is equal to exactly what the ghee is, uh, good quality of the ghee would be. So ingredients, tools in the ghee making process in your own kitchen are simple, very straightforward. And all you're going to need is organic grass-fed unsalted butter, preferably raw. Preferably raw, um, and of course a small, um, you know, heavy saucepan, and probably a cheesecloth. You really don't need it. it. You can do it yourself if you don't have a cheesecloth, or just cheesecloth and for straining the milk solids. And all you're gonna do is that you're gonna take a saucepan, slowly melt the unsalted butter over low heat, and uh, make sure the heat is low. And when it begins boiling vigorously, of course it is gonna start boiling uh, r- really good. Um, and and then you're going to reduce the heat to maybe a little bit even lower. And, uh, you know, and then you kind of keep skimming up the white foam that comes on the top. You're going to keep, it's going to kind of keep creating a lot of white foam on the top. And you can just keep skimming it and keep taking it off and kind of using the pan to maybe close to the sink and tip off that white foam or just put it in a container, whatever, on a side. But continue simmering and simmering until only clear honey. So what, aapka pani sara evaporator hai, liquid sara evaporator hai. And you're going to keep doing that. Might take a long based on what is the quality of, you know, amount of butter that you're using. But continue simmering and simmering until only clear, kind of honey-colored liquid approximately is left in the pan. And, of course, there are going to be solids at the bottom. And once it cools, then you're just going to strain the solids on the key. Uh, if you have a cheesecloth, well and good. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can just, you know, do it regular way, uh, using a regular strainer or something by putting it through a cheesecloth. And, um, and as you do it, just put it in a good, clean, uh, you know, um, uh, airtight container and that's pretty much it so you know it's a pretty simple process so you know how you made it so I would say if possible just make your own desi ghee okay um, having said that um, again studio number 408-912-5565 um, and again information about me if anyone tuned in absent me Rashna go Rashna's fitness show pay do come every Wednesday between 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock we do take your life calls we talk about health nutrition fitness um, of course weight loss um, you know weight gain, muscle gain, strength gain um, and that's all the topics we talk about. If you have a special topic when you ask a question you want to ask your exercise related nutrition related, weight loss related or any recipe related, you can call 408-912-5565 408-912-5565 um, to get in touch with me to get registered and see exactly what Rushna's Wellness Center is all about uh, I will be happy to talk to you you can always give me a call, see exactly 
exactly what your goals are, what you're looking to achieve. And I will exactly make sure that you do lose the weight and that we sit down and write it down together. So let's say you have a goal of, you know, by summer you want to lose four inches. By summer, you want to have a flatter stomach. You don't want to have those extra tons and tons of inches around the waistline. Or you want to work on the upper body. Or you just want to maybe, um, you know, have that doctor stop telling you, get on the medication because you made a change. So if there is something that's been bothering and the doctor has been telling you that now you should diabetes ki medication or then you should uh, cholesterol ki medication should occur chahiye, and it comes on and then it's something that you want to change. I would, of course, love to talk to you and see um, how do we do that. So let's set up a goal together. Let's retake, you know, take it to the goal together and whatever it takes, I will work with you personally. Wanted to mention all of my programs. I am the coach myself. So I would coach you, teach you and all the programs, of course, led by me and um, individually. So again, if you're interested in any of our complete programs, we do have programs that start as challenges. We also have programs for different levels of people. So let's say you are a beginner or you've done something, you're intermediate or you're advanced or you're way more than advanced. So we have programs for all different levels of people. So I could definitely keep you challenged, keep you interested, keep you excited without having to give up. And that's the whole point. You are supposed to enjoy the process of weight loss. It should be a nice journey. It should be like taking a vacation. Um, it shouldn't be like, you know, doing something boring. I mean, that's weight loss is you're doing something. It's everything is a process. Every time you get weighed and measured every week, I do that. It's a milestone, right? You're excited about it. There's, there's some happiness involved here. It happens every time you lose weight. It happens every time you're getting thinner. It happens every time and everyone compliments you. You look thinner. What are you doing? That is the feeling that you, the weight loss process should have. So if you are not getting this feeling for whatever the reason, um, I will help you change it. All I can say is that, you know, give me a call. I'll be happy to get you registered, get you started. And of course, make sure that you're healthy and a fit person and you reach to your goals. Um, you can give me a call to talk to me over the phone. Or of course, we can set up a time to come and talk. Uh, so you can come down to my center in Sunnyville so we can talk. Um, sit down and talk. The phone number to get in touch with me is 408-320-8111-408-320. 8111. You can also contact me through my website, rachnaradio.com, R-A-C-H-N-A-R-A-D-I-O.com, rachnaradio.com, or you can always call me, um, of course, uh, or contact me through my Facebook page, facebook.com slash rachnaradio. Um, again, wanted to talk is we also have our own line of uh, vitamins, probiotics, protein powders, uh, vitamin D capsules, multivitamins. Up in sabko mari website kithru kari sakte hain. We have our protein powders. That was the very first thing that we came out maybe about six, seven years ago. Um, they come in three different flavors, and um, they're all non-GMO formula of protein powders, and they come in three flavors of chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And we also have occasionally an elaichi flavor that comes out. And um, so those are the protein powders. Powders, like I said, they're all non-GMO. They do not have any artificial sweetening absolutely added to them. So all natural. And then we also have our uh, vitamin D3 and K2 combinations. And I've talked about this just many times, saying why you should be having vitamin K2 along with day three. Just make sure you do not have D3 alone. Uh, very important. But again, the ones I have already have a combination of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. Um, if you're not taking it together, you're going to have issues of calcification. Your vitamin D is not going to be absorbed the right way. So if you want to make sure that your vitamin D properly absorbed ho hai. And I've talked about this. You know, you can always go and browse my radio shows in the past um, on my YouTube channel, which I'll give you in just a second. Uh, but again, you know, very important for you to make sure that your vitamin D3 is taking vitamin K2. And and that's um, the way that you know it's being absorbed the right way. Okay, so I do have my own brand of Russian as well as vitamin D3 and K2 combination. And then, like I said, we also have our uh, Vitality multivitamins, which are, again, uh, it's a fruit and vegetable uh, combination of uh, vitamins that come from, and they're, again, very good. And then we also have our 30 billion probiotic formula, which is a 10 strain. It's 30 billion, which is amazing. It's a 10 strain formula. Uh, uh, probiotic so we have all these options available and of course we also have our thrifla capsule so you know everyone knows the benefits of thrifla we've had this be a, as our parents have had it you know we've seen them having it so now it's in a capsule farm again non-gmo formula or we can always ship them to you um, or of course you can come down to the center and take it yourself um, my website is rachnaradio.com to order any of these products again rachna radio or if you just forget, just go and Google, type Rachna's Wellness Center, and it will come up, Rachna Radio, R-A-C-H-N-A-R-E-D-I-O, RachnaRadio.com. Okay. Um, 
so so having said that so we talked about ghee and of course like i said i was going to talk about gmo we'll see how much time permits but again there's something i wanted to talk about is um feb january's gone you know and i was thinking about that last time i'm like maybe i should talk about that it's it's a impromptu topic that just came to me and i wanted to talk about that is you know you all started a lot of people started with 2017 with a goal you know let's talk about fitness you know keep it at fitness perspective or nutrition goals um and it's already february you know just about a week of february is already gone are you still there have you given up did the goals fade away did the motivation fade away if you are one of these people you know it's very important to be consistent abhi sirf february hai there's nothing has changed so if you started with a goal in january but it already has dissolved or dissipated somewhere in the busy schedule that you had um it's still time to change it we have still 11 months of this year remaining let's not finish 2017 the same way you finished 2016 so you have to be consistent like i said 2017 is here and a month is already gone okay so 2016 done it's a done deal it's gone it's just gone do you want 2017 to be exactly gone that way so you have जो आपके 2016 में आपने सोचा था शुरू में आप करोगे वो आपने नहीं किया अब 2017 में आप सोचना चाहते हो कि ऐसे ही होगा फिर हो गया फिर बच्चे हो गए बच्चे तो वहीं पे थे कहीं नहीं गए हम बिजी भी उतने ही हैं हमारा स्केड्यूल भी उतने ही होगा हमारी स्कूल भी उतनी है हमारी क्लास भी उतनी है हमारे कॉलेज भी उतने हैं ट्रैफिक भी उतने हैं बारिश भी उतनी है इट्स बी द सेम वट इज चेंजिंग इज योर हेल्थ वट इज डिग्रेडिंग इज योर हेल्थ वट इज चेंजिंग इज द इंच ऑन अ वेस्ट लाइन दैट इज वॉट इज चेंजिंग एवरीथिंग एल्स इज स्टिल गोनी बीर इज ऑलवेज गोनी बी देर So like I said 2016 is gone. So if you missed every opportunity, okay? So like I said again 2016 is gone and so is every missed opportunity. Unachieved goals, disappointment. Everything is gone. You got a fresh start. The best thing about a new year is that it's a tangible feeling of a fresh start. And that's when a lot of people have kisi bit rush. I mean they all have all these different um you know motivations and everything they set up you know resolutions just go kya the log uh, because it's a fresh start so all those missed feelings and missed deadlines and missed opportunities of having done something but you didn't do something it for some weird reason it goes away because you think it's a new year so each of us can take advantage of this page turn jisko kehte hain page aapki book mein aapki uh, life book mein whatever let's put it that way is turning to take our stories into a new direction a healthy and a consistent lifestyle is in many ways a greater challenge we face on a daily basis dozens of seemingly important issues and i'm going to uh, underline the word seemingly dozens of seemingly important issues compete for attention and more often than not we let those distractions take our goals with them right and they could be uh, yeah i mean they're, they're they're important issues but is your health not important you want it to be thinner is that not important you want to feel comfortable in the clothes that you wear and not just feel that you've gained weight you don't look as good as possible and of course health another thing is that not important yes kids classes are important but is your being the way you want it to look not important okay if you answer the first thing that no it's not important okay then oh well but if you are thinking it's important why are you making yourself feel that you're not the important person in the world why do you make yourself feel that no i'm not equally important as my kids and my husband or my husband and my wife or whatever the whoever is listening to me why do you think that is the right thing to do is it okay for you to put yourself down no it's not because if you are a healthy and a fit person you are going to be a better person than the rest of the family and that is a granted thing every person who's been through this process will definitely second me on that when you are a healthy and a fit person you are just a better person in general your emotional health is better your physical health is better your ability to do stuff is better your energy level is better you're just a better person just because you took an hour for yourself in a day throughout the day and you did something for yourself for your fitness if that makes you better person you still have to call me and give me a reason why would you not forget about an hour a lot of my workouts that i give you that i of course you follow from are merely 15 or 20 minutes and they will make you burn at least about 500 plus calories so if you don't have 20 minutes for yourself and we're still complaining about i don't look good i don't feel comfortable with myself my doctor and you're feeling sluggish and your weight is coming on i mean 20 minutes for yourself that's a decision that you have to make 
Okay, so don't let the don't let the calendar trick you just because January is gone, that you know something is going to uh, come up. Like I said, these distractions are still going to be there for the rest of 2017. If you look back at your life, I bet you could give many past year titles relevant to their defining moments. Right? You have probably a lot of um, things that change your um, you know every year. Hamko kisi se yaad hota hai ki 2012 mein ye wa tha, 2013 mein we had kids and you got married in 2050. Whatever the things are, everyone remembers that, right? So there's some years. So you know moments that shaped your life, but didn't help you shape. Right? Just because. You know, you remember there's years, there's some years you just gained weight. You'll remember there's that year right after I had the kid, that's when I gained 20 pounds. So you remember that, right? The year of the newborn or the year of, you know, going to school or college or whatever. So again, of course, it needs an explanation. So this year needs an explanation. So of course, I would again call it, let's make it a healthy year. Let's, you know, let's be fit in 2017. This is the year, and I would call it the year of consistency. You have to win this year. And that's what I've done at RWC Statement Russian's Wellness Center is I have decided to claim 2017 as a year of consistency. And I'm going to make sure if you're enrolled in a program that you are consistent. If you're consistent, nothing can stop you. Absolutely nothing can stop you to have the body that you always wanted to have to be fit and to look good and feel fantastic about yourself. Let the friends keep looking at you, keep wondering what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> It's it's just a magic when that feel happens around you that you just, you know, people compliment you around the clothes you're wearing and you've lost weight. It's just an amazing feeling, right? I mean, you all agree with that feeling, yes? Yes, we do. So that's what I've done at my Russian's Wellness Center. I'm going to decide to claim this 2017 as a year of consistency. And that's the reason I came up with the website fitin2017.com. So go visit my website, check out the programs, get registered, get started. So workout consistency, again, like I said, is the key to progress. Results are effect of progress. If progress in not the results will not be able Progress on a regular basis is what makes us happy. It keeps us happy. Change is automatic. It is going to happen. If you do things right, change will happen. Again, like I said, that's what I do. I will start you with the measurements. I keep a track of everything on a weekly basis so you see the change. Like I said, change keeps you motivated. The key to workout consistency is deciding that your fitness goals are your priority. And, and then, of course, developing habits to make sure that those goals are met. For the next 11 months remaining for this year, I will provide you with the resources that you need to stay consistent on your health and your fitness journey. And if those resources, in, you know, let's say to be in touch with on a daily basis, weekly basis, includes workouts, recipes, motivational content, tips, and much more, everything will be coming your way so that you get to your goals for in this 2017. Um, so all I can say is, again, Happy New Year. We're still just about, you know, I, I think we still can all stay. I know it's February, but I think, you know, if you missed the opportunity, I'm going to wish you again Happy New Year in February and remind you that you had something that you decided that you wanted to do and for whatever reason you faded out, but let's change it. It's just February yet. You know, let's not those have those goals just dissolve away uh, just because, uh, again, you think it's middle of the year. No, it's not middle of the year yet at all. You know, you've got good four months before the summer comes on and then vacations and all that stuff. You've got still four months to focus on yourself or even more. Okay. Um, okay. So if I put it this way, this month, I would like you to try at least one of my tips below. If not all of them. If all of them, yeah, you're going to be happy. I'll be happy. But let's try at least one of them. As I've said all along, adapting a healthy lifestyle is just a step-by-step baby process. There's nothing complicated about it at all. Absolutely nothing. Okay. It all starts with a, stand, a small change. So I'm going to give you some little things to follow and let's see what you can achieve. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you maybe about eight, 19, 20 points. So follow at least once or one or two of them or all of them. So you want to write them down, go write them down. Uh, the first one is right now, literally right now, actually seeing it on a paper makes a huge difference. Okay, wherever you are, make a seven day goal for you, what you have to achieve right now. Don't say I'm going to do it after two minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes. Just write something quickly on a scribble on a piece of paper or think it in your mind if you're driving um, right now, literally write something down. Let's take baby steps, it's a seven day goal. You know, um, it doesn't have to be I'm going to lose five pounds, six pounds. It just has to be I'm going to work out four days a week. I'm going to do this in the morning. I'm going to do this in the morning. I'm going to find time. I'm going to schedule myself just a seven day goal. That's it. That's what I want you to do. The very first thing. 
it must be realistic. It must be attainable. You also need to be specific. So I just, you know, just don't say that I'm going to work out uh, two or three days. Specify the days. Pick specific days. So keep it simple. Seven days. Pick specific days you're going to go work out. That's the first one. Okay. Uh, once you achieve this goal, set another goal for the next seven days now. Okay. Let's take baby steps. We're just taking a week at a time. Plan, plan, plan. Whether you do it the night before or the first thing in the morning, plan what you're going to be eating and when and what and what and what time and whatnot. That planning again, when it comes to eating, I think that's where a lot of people make mistakes. Whatever comes our way, we eat. Um, you know, it's especially when it comes to dinner time, a lot of people make mistakes because we've done the day, we've had a busy day, and that time you just end up making mistakes. If you had planned the night before, it's going to be easy. And that's what definitely helps you when I give you personalized meal plans. I've planned them for you. All you do is you look at it, you follow something just about like it or something close, but the planning is all done for you. And I think that really keeps people quite a bit on track. Okay. Um, okay. The chances of, like I said, again, deviating from a plan are less likely to be happen when you're more prepared. Okay. Of course, you know, there's going to days happen. Days are going to happen where you weren't planning an outing, but it just happened. A friend called you over. Someone came over. Um, you know, it's going to happen, but the chances that's going to happen is going to be very less likely as opposed to you weren't prepared at all. Okay. If you are trying to eat more often throughout the day, maybe set up a timer. I know, I know, I'm, I understand. It kind of sounds silly. Set a timer to remind yourself to eat. But if you're going to use, or if you're uh, used to eating long periods of time without, uh, you know, uh, between meals and waiting until you actually get hungry and then eating three to four hours is not going to come easy. So, right. So maybe a timer is going to help you. Maybe like a beep on the phone or something. That's it. When the timer goes off, chances are you'll probably tell yourself, I'm not hungry. You know, that's what a lot of people do. But I don't want to eat. I say, I say, I'm going to eat. But again, if you want to slip into your usual habit of eating until you're hungry, that's bad again for you. Bad for your metabolism. You're not supposed to feel hunger all the time. When you wait to eat once, you are starving. You will overeat or make a bad food decision. Hunger is, I mean, seriously, it's a very powerful, you know, thing. It's very powerful. Trust me. In fact, for some weird reason, the brain shuts down. You'll just pick up whatever comes your way because you are hungry. So it is a very powerful thing. It's going to override any good intention you had. Absolutely. So just never be in a mode that you're absolutely, extremely starving and hungry. By eating every couple of hours, you will stay in control of what you truly intend on eating. And chances are very slim that you will overeat. And again, the next change you should probably be doing is that tell yourself that you're not going to eat past a certain time or... Um, is after dinner or some specific time. And that's another change I would want you to apply. And so pick a specific time and say, okay, that's my it. So let's say if you sleep at 11, so maybe no more eating after nine. Again, I've always recommended a protein shake is perfectly fine right before you sleep, as long as it's made with um, not milk, just water, maybe, you know, a little bit of yogurt um, or just pure protein powder. That's perfectly fine. But you shouldn't be having fruits. You shouldn't be having um, um, no carbs no grains and nothing of that sort right before you sleep, but a protein powder shake is perfectly fine even right before you sleep. Okay? But in general, you really should stop eating just about two, you know, two to two and a half hours before you sleep. Mindless eating mostly occurs after dinner. When you just sit down, you've cleaned up the kitchen, the dishwasher is done, the lunches are made for tomorrow for the kids, and you're all sitting down, that's when all a lot of the mindless eating starts to happen. Snacking in front of the TV is one of the easiest ways to throw off your diet. Of course, and everyone knows that, right? The time when you should stop eating really depends on your lifestyle. So, uh, But again, I would probably say about two to two and a half hours before you sleep. Again, based on the time you sleep is a good time. So as opposed to saying you just shouldn't eat after seven, but you're a person who sleeps at 12 at night. I mean, that's just way too much time. So it really is kind of dependent upon the time you sleep. So about two to two and a half hours before you sleep, stop eating carbs, fruits, uh, but a pure protein shake would be also perfectly fine right before you sleep. So... So adopt some changes. All I can say is that, you know, we're here to make some good changes. The reason you're listening to my show, because you are, you want to make some good changes, right? That's the reason you're listening to the show, because you want to make some changes. So, 
oh, well, I'm giving you lots and lots of ideas to follow. So pick some of them, adopt them, change them, change your lifestyle and be around them. Trust me, you're going to be healthy and a fairer person. I've been doing this shows for, uh, I've been doing this Wednesday show every Wednesday for more than, so I started back in, I guess, what, 2009. So it's been like more than seven years I've been doing this show. So a lot of people have actually heard me for seven years now. And I'm sure you all have, um, and I get these emails and phone calls all the time telling that, you know, they've just made fantastic changes by listening to me. Uh, so please pick up a couple things from every of my show and, you know, change them. If you miss my shows, all of my shows are also posted on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Rachna's Wellness, R-A-C-H-N-A, Rachna's Wellness. So again, just go to YouTube. YouTube pe aap, uh, search me dalenge, Rachna's Wellness. You will find a channel that comes up. So please subscribe to my channel. And um, I have a lot of re- some recipe videos posted, healthy recipe videos, of course. And I do have workout videos. And in fact, um, you, you'll probably see that on my Facebook page. But you're also going to have a lot of workout videos coming uh, by tonight or by tomorrow that you can actually um, uh, work out with me too so again there are a lot of options coming up on my youtube channel and also on my facebook page so just go subscribe to my youtube channel you can always listen all to my shows if you radio show miss hoga, aap usko later on suna hain. you can always go to my youtube channel and then find the radio show that you wanted to listen to and it's going to have the date and the topic of the program and you can always listen from there um you can always subscribe to my facebook page uh, go please like my facebook page facebook page aake, go find rachna radio r-a-c-h-n-a rachna radio and um that's another way to get in touch with me also. Okay. So again, to come and talk to me, to get registered, we do have complete three-month weight loss program that I will set up for you individually. Um, and again, make sure that you are achieving the goals that we sat together and thought about. So whatever the goals are, we're going to write it down. We're going to make sure that you get to the goals. So again, all of my programs, most of my programs start as a complete three-month course, where of course we start with planning, weighing, measuring, checking your body's metabolism to see your body kitni calories burn. Karti hai. So we have a complete testing that I do at my center, which is called Body's Metabolism Testing. That tells ki aapka body ka, uh, kya rate hai metabolism, ka, ki aap kitni calories din mein burn. Karte hai. And then from there on, of course, the whole science is that I would create a very safe deficit from that metabolism but not you know too low of a deficit so that's the whole science behind that so everything keeps going and then i keep checking everything on a weekly basis from there on we follow complete um healthy they see nutritional meal plans, workout plans that you could do it from home. You can come down at the center and do it, or you can do a combination of once from home, two days from um, um at the you know at my center, whatever way. So again, three month weight loss programs to get registered. We have the Ultra Fat Burner program starting next week. So we have the UFB program called the UFB Ultra Fat Burner program starts next week to get registered. Come and talk to me. Uh, phone number is four zero eight three twenty. 8111 again 4083208111 you can always contact me through my website rachnaradio.com r a c h n a rachnaradio.com okay so that's that uh, let me go and uh, maybe finish the topic i know we talked about gmo so i wanted to kind of uh, give you some information about gmo and then i know we talked about that last week i didn't get to that today so um, so I explained to you uh, what GMO genetically modified organisms is. So what I'm going to kind of keep it limited to is um, how to avoid GMO, and especially when it comes to GMO corn. Okay. So again, if you missed, we talked about this last week is why you should be avoiding GMO. Uh, but again, today I'm going to stick to you is how to avoid it. Okay. Um, look, the very first thing that you have to do is first of all, very simple, you know, especially living in this country, I think it's very nice. It's everything is labelized. Everything is on a label. If you don't see a label, it's not there. If a label is there, it is going to be there. So you can actually trust the labels. Okay. Um, so look for the seal. So anything that you're looking to buy, there should be a seal on it or a stamp or a seal or like a circle that says the non GMO verified seal. Okay. Sometimes a lot of the products don't say organic. I want to explain you the difference. I think I did a show like a couple of years back where you explained the difference between organic versus non-GMO. Organic, to for some weird reason, calling it organic is pretty expensive, especially when it comes to small farmers, small uh, companies, um, as opposed to saying non-GMO. So you might sometimes see a, a product that's not on a bigger level, but as opposed to saying organic, it might just say non-GMO. Um, Okay, so again, there's different ways. Organic just means um, it's organic. There were no sprays and everything. But non-GMO typically means it's non-genetically modified. Mostly if it is non-GMO, it is going to be organic. But it could be both too. But mostly if someone did the work of you know, taking seeds that are not genetically modified, um, you know, it's a local farmer, a small company. They probably didn't use a lot of sprays and, um, you know, the bad stuff, the pesticides and all that stuff. So, um 
so again, look for the seal, the non-GMO verified seal. That's the first thing you want to be doing. Um, most fresh produce is mostly non-GMO. Okay. Only five common, five or six, and I'll give you the names. Only five or six common produce items are currently grown commercially from the GMO seed. Uske in the corn aata, which is of course in the highest, Hawaiian papaya, um, soybeans of course, edamame, zucchini and yellow summer squash. So mostly in sub produce ko chhodke, they don't have the GMO seeds or anything else yet. I know they're working on, I think, tomatoes if I heard last, but there is no GMO seeds yet. So pretty much what if you're buying fresh produce, uh, you won't have to worry about GMO. Just make sure it says organic. All it says organic ka matlab kya hai? The soil was organic. They didn't add a lot of pesticides and all that stuff and the sprays and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty much what it means. But like I said, the first thing you want to be looking is the non-GMO seal. Uh, but it comes to but it, when it comes to produce, you really shouldn't have to worry except for corn, Hawaiian papaya, soybeans, zucchini and yellow summer squash. Okay. Try to find organic and non-GMO versions of these, especially these five things I came whenever possible. Uh, when it comes to meat, okay, check the source of the meat. Okay, um, eggs, dairy, milk, cheese, eggs, beef, chicken, pork, all could be from animals that were given GMO feed. Okay, so check the source of the feed. Look for additives. So, like I said again, when it comes to dairy, um, as opposed to only saying organic, you want to look at something that says grass-fed or the feed. That, you know, it wasn't fed uh, corn and grains and all that kind of stuff. Um, look for the additives. You know, the most five most prevalent GMO corp, uh, crops, which uh, is, like I said, corn, uh, canola, soy, cotton and sugar beets end up as all kind of additives. You know, and here is some confusion. Hoti. You might probably see something like, say, corn syrup, you know, um, um, oil, sugar, flavoring agents, thickeners, ingredients. So that is where you should be careful. Okay, additives bahut jaldi aa jate hain. Even if something doesn't say, uh, you know, something in it, but if an ingredient say corn syrup, I would not get it. You know, like I said, corn is all mostly 99.9% all genetically modified, unless it specifically says it's non-GMO corn. Um, and also one thing I wanted to mention, sometimes you might want to feel good about frozen. Okay, most frozen fruits and vegetables are non-GMO, unless for one of the high five things I mentioned. Um, you know, so most of the frozen fruits are non-GMO. So it's, you know, and even vegetables. So, you know, as long as you put in the fridge and you get, use it in the, like a month or so, you should be fine using frozen fruits and vegetables also. Okay. Um, what's say As long as, like I said, you avoid corn and soy and you choose dry beans and grains and nuts and seeds, it's a very good way to go non-GMO. Okay. Like I said, there are some GMO versions of apples and other crops that are being tested. But as of now, there are no GMO apples out there so that means just go for organic apples you'll be fine you know there's you won't have to worry about there's no john non-gmo uh, seed of apples yet okay uh, and they're also testing around tomatoes and potatoes but they're still not approved yet i hope they never get approved seriously but um yeah so there's no tomatoes and potatoes yet so pretty much all you're going to be looking at is just organic as much as possible and you should be fine and fair Okay, so we're just about the end, the end of our show. Aap sun rahe hai, sun rahe thai. Rachna ko Rachna's fitness show. Pay do come pay Wednesday between 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. We do take your live calls, health sale related, fitness related. If you miss calling today, you're welcome to call us again our next show. Uh, you can also, uh, you're also welcome to call me on a personal number and I'll be happy to give you information, talk to you about your question. Um, and of course, give you information about our uh, um, center. Um, again, our center ka naam hai Rachna's Wellness Center, RWC, Rachna's Wellness Center. Um, to get in touch with me, you can always call me through my phone number, 408-320-8111, 408-320-8111. Um, our website is rachnaradio.com, R-A-C-H-N-A, rachnaradio.com. And also wanted to mention, our many weight loss programs hai, they can be done remotely, specifically designed remotely. In fact, a program, the Desi Challenge and the UFP, which is Ultra Fat Burner, is specially designed for people to be done remotely. But of course, you can also do, if you live locally, you can always come down and do your classes at my center too. Um, our uh, non, um, the program, the UFP program, the Ultra Fat Burner is starting next week, a batch of the UFP program, which is a very fantastic program. I've actually divided the program into a lot of different levels, and I move you from one level to another level as per your progress. So in every level, I work on different exercises, different areas of the body, and also different meal plans. So that's how the um, UFP program is set up, the Ultra Fat Burner. And of course, we have different levels of programs, uh, just abs changes every week. So there are different programs. Again, all I can say is that if you are looking to get fit, if you're looking to lose weight, um, 
I'm proud to say there would be no better place, you know, than Russian as wellness center. I've been proud, proudly doing this for more than 12 years now, and I've never had um, a person that I've failed at ever. So give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you, get you fit, uh, make you lose weight, keep you motivated. Um, and of course, make sure that we kind of go to this process together, whatever it takes. Um, to get registered or to come and talk to me, you can give me a call 408-320-8111, 408-320-8111. You can also check out my website, get the contact information, rachnaradio.com, rachnaradio.com. Or through my Facebook page, Rachna Radio, or just Google and find Rachna's Wellness Center. We'll be again here next Wednesday. Till then, keep fit and keep working out.